It's getting harder every day with all the rules are coming out of the state. It's just making it harder where it shouldn't be. The choice now is to figure out how to make it work or just don't and be done. And so I would say some logistics and what you place where has just got to change from the old rules. This system, if you're hanging over trees in RMA zones or anything like that, you don't have to slack your skyline down and break tops out or slack into RMA trees. You just keep it up in the air. And By state rules, you can't slack in the riparians and you can lift and suspend over it. And then as per the particular timber company here, they don't want you slacking your lines in their standing trees anyways. It's the only way you're gonna grapple. Basically, it opens up probably 30% more ground to grappling than what would be traditional here. It lands logs a lot easier too. That's a big thing in grappling. I don't have to worry about getting in trouble. We're trying to avoid breaking tops out in RMA zones or if we are hanging over roads or anything, we can keep it up in the air and let trucks through, keep trucking. Don't have to stop and wait, hold it up. In the long run, it's where we need to go. So in our minds, we're doing what we need to do ahead of time. That way when the hammer comes down, whether it's the timber company's rules. The other thing is, is uh, you can get away with logging on it with a level three closure B because you're not slacking down a bunch of lines and fire danger type stuff. We, we've, been, we've been grappling a long time with the running line system and the Falcon Claw, and this just allows you to not do that. The laws that are coming, you would be better off to meet them with the old system, but we're not capable of it. That in a nutshell says it.